Um, what was the first one? Not the graph. Was it resolving factors? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I, th I, th I don't need to open it because you can read the question to me. Right. Um, what's question one? What? Who has question one? You have it? Dude, 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 come on. Take out your pen and paper. What's question one? Does anyone, do I need to open it? No, I'm not being a Yes, this one. Okay. Uh, and first one, that you must apply all, 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 all the projected numbers. Okay, hang on. Then Wait! <laughs> Go. A ball is projected. <laughs> at an angle of 30 degrees. Yeah. To the horizontal and at a speed of 10 meters per second. Okay, that's fine. That's all I need to know because I need here the horizontal and the vertical. And this one will be 10 cos 30, and this one here will be 10 sine 30. And I, I, you know what, I don't even need to type that in because it's just on your calculator, okay? So what's the next one? A man is dragging a sack of potatoes by means of a rope. Yeah. The rope is at an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal. Yeah. And the tension in the rope is 50 newton. 50? Newton. Yeah. Five zero like this? Yeah, yeah, five zero. Ah, these are very easy now. Uh, this is going to be 50 cos 45, and the other one's going to be 50 sine 45. And of course, again, you can just use your calculator. Right, what's the next one? A boat is sailing at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour due northeast. Due northeast, like this, at 20 kilometers per hour, yeah. yeah. Um, what is the easterly? Velocity vector into easterly and northerly vector. Yeah. So again, this is 20 cos 45. How did you know this 45? Ah, because it said it was northeast. Northeast. So ah. it's divided by the half 90 by Northeast is exactly 45. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what's four then? It's, um, a ball is projected with a horizontal speed of 10 meters per second and a vertical speed of 20 meters per second. Mm -hmm. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the resultant. Point. Okay, so this is a bit more interesting. So from Pythagoras, yeah. we can say that r squared equals 10 squared plus 20 squared. So r squared is 500. So r is root 500. Uh, this is meters per second, isn't it? So the magnitude would be root 500, whatever that is meters per second. And do I want the angle as well? Yeah. The theta? Well, that's also yeah, easy. Yeah. yeah, it'll be tan inverse um, 20, yeah, over 10. 10. And again, you can just put them into your calculator. It's no big deal. Okay. Uh, root 500 is going to be, what, like 70? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, 22 or something, isn't it? That's not too bad. 22, I suppose. Uh, 22.36. And uh, tan inverse, uh, let me see if I can estimate this. Tan inverse, uh, 2 over 1, is that going to be about uh, 65 degrees or something? 62.43. Okay, again, close for no calculator, okay? Uh, right, so that's fine then. Uh, 5. Is there a five? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. A man is pushing against a wall with five meters of force into the wall. Ah, yes, okay. And twelve meters of force of the wall. Right, so the man, if you look, he's pushing this way with five newtons, and then he's pushing this way with, what did I say, twelve uh, newtons? Yes. Okay, what is the magnitude of the so again, we can use Pythagoras, and I know that the answer from Pythagoras would be 13 newtons. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be square root of 169. Uh -huh. 
Uh, and the angle theta theta will be tan inverse 12 over 5, which is about 70, 67 degrees, or whatever. I won't write down. This, uh, this R square, the length square plus length square, yeah. this is for number four? Yeah, sorry, let me just... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> there now, we're good. Okay. Right, um, yeah. Okay, is there a six or is that it? No. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's a six, okay. Right, hang on, let me, um, okay. Explain. Yeah, go ahead. Applying at 90 kilometers per hour. Yeah. East. Yeah. And 120 kilometers per hour north. Okay, so you have a 90 this way, and a 120 this way. All right, this is all. Right, the magnitude and direction. It's all the same, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, this would be, uh, 150? Yeah. Great, from Pythagoras. Yeah. It's 150. And what's the angle? 53. Three. Three. Okay. Three. okay. And the angle is tan inverse 120 over 90, which is 53 or whatever it is. So there's not an interest in here. It's all just practice and using sine, cosine, and Pythagoras. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you do these ones? Yeah. Yeah. Not those. Ah, I, I, I didn't do three. Do you remember what I said on my first day? Do you remember what I said on the first day? No, you don't remember what I said on the first day. That's interesting. You have to do all homework. Yeah, yeah, and something else I said about week two. Do you go for that? No, no, I forgot. I said, everybody in the first week will do their work and will work hard. In week two, I will start to see people not do their work. <laughs> do you remember me saying that? I do my homework. Oh, do you know what? I said it in maths class, and I'm not your maths teacher. <laughs> so that's why you didn't hear me say it. <laughs> okay. I go to the YouTube video. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can picture me saying it in the video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I didn't say it in physics class. So I said in maths class, I'll find out in week two who uh, won't be doing their work. Because everyone does it in week one. So, you've already raised concern with me, okay? No, 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 no. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I want you to stay on top of things. Sure. Sure. Okay, fine. I want you to stay on top of things. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the next homework then. So, this is the graph. So, I'll open up. Open up. There.